In mathematics, orthogonality is the generalization of the notion of perpendicularity to the linear algebra of bilinear forms. Two elements U and V of a vector space with bilinear form B are orthogonal when B U v equals zero. Depending on the bilinear form, the vector space may contain nonzero self-orthogonal vectors. In the case of function spaces, families of orthogonal functions are used to form a basis. By extension, orthogonality is also used to refer to the separation of specific features of a system. The term also has specialized meanings in other fields including art and chemistry. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word comes from the Greek orthos, orthos, meaning upright, and gonia, gonia, meaning angle. The ancient Greek orthogonian, orthogonian, and classical Latin orthogonium originally denoted a rectangle. Later, they came to mean a right triangle. In the 12th century, the post-classical Latin word orthogonalis came to mean a right angle or something related to a right angle. Topic: Mathematics and Physics. Topic: Definitions. In geometry, two Euclidean vectors are orthogonal if they are perpendicular, i.e., they form a right angle. Two vectors, x and y, in an inner product space, v, are orthogonal if their inner product x y is zero. This relationship is denoted x y Two vector subspaces, A and B, of an inner product space V, are called orthogonal subspaces if each vector in A is orthogonal to each vector in B. The largest subspace of V that is orthogonal to a given subspace is its orthogonal complement. Given a module M and its dual M, an element M of M and an element M of M are orthogonal if their natural pairing is zero, i.e., M, M equals zero. Two sets S M and S M are orthogonal if each element of S is orthogonal to each element of S. A term rewriting system is said to be orthogonal if it is left linear and is non-ambiguous. Orthogonal term rewriting systems are confluent. A set of vectors in an inner product space is called pairwise orthogonal if each pairing of them is orthogonal. Such a set is called an orthogonal set. In certain cases, the word normal is used to mean orthogonal, particularly in the geometric sense as in the normal to a surface. For example, the y-axis is normal to the curve y equals x2 at the origin. However, normal may also refer to the magnitude of a vector. In particular, a set is called orthonormal orthogonal plus normal if it is an orthogonal set of unit vectors. As a result, use of the term normal to mean orthogonal is often avoided. The word normal also has a different meaning in probability and statistics. A vector space with a bilinear form generalizes the case of an inner product. When the bilinear form applied to two vectors results in zero, then they are orthogonal. The case of a pseudo-Euclidean plane uses the term hyperbolic orthogonality. In the diagram, axes x and t are hyperbolic orthogonal for any given phi. Topic: <laughs> Euclidean vector spaces. In Euclidean space, two vectors are orthogonal if and only if their dot product is zero, i.e. they make an angle of 90 degrees pi, two radians, or one of the vectors is zero. Hence orthogonality of vectors is an extension of the concept of perpendicular vectors to spaces of any dimension. 
The orthogonal complement of a subspace is the space of all vectors that are orthogonal to every vector in the subspace. In a three-dimensional Euclidean vector space, the orthogonal complement of a line through the origin is the plane through the origin perpendicular to it, and vice versa. Note that the geometric concept of two planes being perpendicular does not correspond to the orthogonal complement, since in three dimensions a pair of vectors, one from each of a pair of perpendicular planes, might meet at any angle. In four-dimensional Euclidean space, the orthogonal complement of a line is a hyperplane and vice versa, and that of a plane is a plane. Orthogonal functions By using integral calculus, it is common to use the following to define the inner product of two functions f and g with respect to a nonnegative weight function w over an interval a, b, f, g, w equals a, b, f, x, g, x, w. X D X Display style Langle F G Wrangle underscore W equals int underscore a carrot B F X G X W X D X In simple cases W X equals one we say that functions f and g are orthogonal if their inner product equivalently the value of this integral is zero f g w equals 0 display style langle f g wrangle underscore w equals 0 orthogonality of two functions with respect to one inner product does not imply orthogonality with respect to another inner product we write the norm with respect to this inner product as f W equals F F W display style F underscore W equals SQRT Langle F F Wrangle underscore W The members of a set of functions Phi I equals one, two, three are orthogonal with respect to W on the interval A B if F I F J W equals zero I does not equal J Display style Langle F underscore I F underscore J Wrangle underscore W equals zero quad I N E Q J. The members of such a set of functions are orthonormal with respect to W on the interval A, B if F I F J W equals delta I J. Display style Langle F underscore I F underscore J Wrangle underscore W equals delta underscore I J where where delta i j equals one, i equals j zero, i does not equal j. Display style delta underscore i j equals left begin matrix one, and an i equals j zero, and an i n e q j end matrix right is the Kronecker delta. In other words, every pair of them excluding pairing of a function with itself is orthogonal, and the norm of each is one. See in particular the orthogonal polynomials. Topic: Examples. The vectors 1, 3, 2, t, 3, minus 1, 0, t, 1, 3, minus 5, t are orthogonal to each other, since 1, 3, plus 3, minus 1, plus 2, 0. Topic zero three one plus minus one three plus zero minus five zero and one one plus three three plus two minus five equals zero. The vectors one zero one zero t and zero one zero one t are orthogonal to each other. 
the dot product of these vectors is zero. We can then make the generalization to consider the vectors in Z to N, VK equals I equals zero AI plus KNN, AEI, display style, Math BF V underscore K equals some underscore I equals zero atop I plus K for some positive integer A, and for one K a minus one. These vectors are orthogonal, for example, one zero zero one zero zero one zero T. 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 t 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 t are orthogonal the functions 2t plus 3 and 45t 2 plus 9t minus 17 are orthogonal with respect to a unit weight function on the interval from minus 1 to 1 minus 1 1 2 t plus 3 45 t 2 plus 9 t minus 17 d t equals 0 Display style int underscore minus one carrot one left two t plus three right left forty five t carrot two plus nine t seventeen right d t equals zero. The functions one sin n x cos n x n equals one two three are orthogonal with respect to Riemann integration on the intervals 0, 2 pi, minus pi, pi, or any other closed interval of length 2 pi. This fact is a central one in Fourier series. Orthogonal polynomials Various polynomial sequences named for mathematicians of the past are sequences of orthogonal polynomials. In particular, the Hermite polynomials are orthogonal with respect to the Gaussian distribution with zero mean value. The Legendre polynomials are orthogonal with respect to the uniform distribution on the interval -1 1. The Laguerre polynomials are orthogonal with respect to the exponential distribution. Somewhat more general Laguerre polynomial sequences are orthogonal with respect to gamma distributions. The Chebyshev polynomials of the first kind are orthogonal with respect to the measure 1 1 minus x 2 Display style one sqrt one x caret two. The Chebyshev polynomials of the second kind are orthogonal with respect to the Wigner semicircle distribution. Topic: Orthogonal states in quantum mechanics. In quantum mechanics, a sufficient but not necessary condition that two eigenstates of a Hermitian operator psi m display style psi underscore m and psi n display style psi underscore n are orthogonal as that they correspond to different eigenvalues. This means, in Dirac notation, that psi m psi n equals zero. Display style Langle psi underscore m psi underscore n wrangle equals zero. If psi m display style psi underscore m and Psi n display style psi underscore n correspond to different eigenvalues. This follows from the fact that Schrödinger's equation is a Sturm-Liouville equation in Schrödinger's formulation, or that observables are given by Hermitian operators in Heisenberg's formulation.
Topic: Art. In art, the perspective imaginary lines pointing to the vanishing point are referred to as orthogonal lines. The term orthogonal line often has a quite different meaning in the literature of modern art criticism. Many works by painters such as Piet Mondrian and Burgoyne Diller are noted for their exclusive use of «orthogonal lines» not, however, with reference to perspective, but rather referring to lines that are straight and exclusively horizontal or vertical, forming right angles where they intersect. For example, an essay at the website of the Thyssen Bornemisza Museum states that Mondrian dedicated his entire oeuvre to the investigation of the balance between orthogonal lines and primary colours. 1. Topic: <laughs> Computer science. Orthogonality in programming language design is the ability to use various language features in arbitrary combinations with consistent results. This usage was introduced by Van Vangarden in the design of Algol 68. The number of independent primitive concepts has been minimized in order that the language be easy to describe, to learn, and to implement. On the other hand, these concepts have been applied orthogonally in order to maximize the expressive power of the language while trying to avoid deleterious superfluities. Orthogonality is a system design property which guarantees that modifying the technical effect produced by a component of a system neither creates nor propagates side effects to other components of the system. Typically this is achieved through the separation of concerns and encapsulation, and it is essential for feasible and compact designs of complex systems. The emergent behavior of a system consisting of components should be controlled strictly by formal definitions of its logic and not by side effects resulting from poor integration, i.e., non-orthogonal design of modules and interfaces. Orthogonality reduces testing and development time because it is easier to verify designs that neither cause side effects nor depend on them. An instruction set is said to be orthogonal if it lacks redundancy i.e., there is only a single instruction that can be used to accomplish a given task and is designed such that instructions can use any register in any addressing mode. This terminology results from considering an instruction as a vector whose components are the instruction fields. One field identifies the registers to be operated upon and another specifies the addressing mode. An orthogonal instruction set uniquely encodes all combinations of registers and addressing modes. Topic: <laughs> Communications. In communications, multiple access schemes are orthogonal when an ideal receiver can completely reject arbitrarily strong unwanted signals from the desired signal using different basis functions. One such scheme is TDMA, where the orthogonal basis functions are non-overlapping rectangular pulses time slots. Another scheme is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing OFDM, which refers to the use, by a single transmitter, of a set of frequency multiplexed signals with the exact minimum frequency spacing needed to make them orthogonal so that they do not interfere with each other. Well-known examples include A, G, and N versions of 802.11 Wi-Fi, WiMAX, ITUTG.HN, DVB-T, the terrestrial digital TV broadcast system used in most of the world outside North America, and DMT, discrete multi-tone, the standard form of ADSL. In OFDM, the subcarrier frequencies are chosen so that the subcarriers are orthogonal to each other, meaning that crosstalk between the subchannels is eliminated and intercarrier guard bands are not required. This greatly simplifies the design of both the transmitter and the receiver. In conventional FDM, a separate filter for each subchannel is required.
Topic: Statistics, Econometrics, and Economics. When performing statistical analysis, independent variables that affect a particular dependent variable are said to be orthogonal if they are uncorrelated, since the covariance forms an inner product. In this case the same results are obtained for the effect of any of the independent variables upon the dependent variable, regardless of whether one models the effects of the variables individually with simple regression or simultaneously with multiple regression. If correlation is present, the factors are not orthogonal and different results are obtained by the two methods. This usage arises from the fact that if centered by subtracting the expected value the mean, uncorrelated variables are orthogonal in the geometric sense discussed above, both as observed data i.e., vectors and as random variables i.e., density functions. One econometric formalism that is alternative to the maximum likelihood framework, the generalized method of moments, relies on orthogonality conditions. In particular, the ordinary least squares estimator may be easily derived from an orthogonality condition between the explanatory variables and model residuals. Taxonomy. <laughs> <laughs> In taxonomy, an orthogonal classification is one in which no item is a member of more than one group, that is, the classifications are mutually exclusive. Combinatorics In combinatorics, 2 n times n Latin squares are said to be orthogonal if their superimposition yields all possible n2 combinations of entries. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chemistry and biochemistry. In synthetic organic chemistry orthogonal protection is a strategy allowing the deprotection of functional groups independently of each other. In chemistry and biochemistry, an orthogonal interaction occurs when there are two pairs of substances and each substance can interact with their respective partner, but does not interact with either substance of the other pair. For example, DNA has two orthogonal pairs, cytosine and guanine form a base pair, and adenine and thymine form another base pair, but other base pair combinations are strongly disfavored. As a chemical example, tetrazine reacts with transcyclooctane and azide reacts with cyclooctane without any cross-reaction, so these are mutually orthogonal reactions, and so, can be performed simultaneously and selectively. Biorthogonal chemistry refers to chemical reactions occurring inside living systems without reacting with naturally present cellular components. In supramolecular chemistry the notion of orthogonality refers to the possibility of two or more supramolecular, often non-covalent, interactions being compatible, reversibly forming without interference from the other. In analytical chemistry, analyses are orthogonal if they make a measurement or identification in completely different ways, thus increasing the reliability of the measurement. This is often required as a part of a new drug application. <laughs> System reliability In the field of system reliability orthogonal redundancy is that form of redundancy where the form of backup device or method is completely different from the prone-to-error device or method. The failure mode of an orthogonally redundant backup device or method does not intersect with and is completely different from the failure mode of the device or method in need of redundancy to safeguard the total system against catastrophic failure. Topic: Neuroscience. In neuroscience, a sensory map in the brain which has overlapping stimulus coding, e.g., location and quality, is called an orthogonal map.
Topic: Gaming. In board games such as chess, which feature a grid of squares, orthogonal is used to mean in the same row, rank or column, file. This is the counterpart to squares which are diagonally adjacent. In the ancient Chinese board game Go a player can capture the stones of an opponent by occupying all orthogonally adjacent points. Other examples Stereo vinyl records encode both the left and right stereo channels in a single groove. The V-shaped groove in the vinyl has walls that are 90 degrees to each other, with variations in each wall separately encoding one of the two analog channels that make up the stereo signal. The cartridge senses the motion of the stylus following the groove in two orthogonal directions, 45 degrees from vertical to either side. A pure horizontal motion corresponds to a mono signal, equivalent to a stereo signal in which both channels carry identical in phase signals. Topic: See also Imaginary number Isogonal Isogonal trajectory Orthogonal complement Orthogonal group Orthogonal matrix Orthogonal polynomials Orthogonalization Gram-Schmidt process Orthonormal basis Orthonormality Orthogonal transform Panorthogonality occurs in coquaternions Surface normal Orthogonal ligand protein pair